everybody and welcome to another haul video here on the Fashion Mumbler YouTube channel. Yes, another haul video. I have gone a little bit crazy recently, I don't know what it is, but I do know what it is. It's all these amazing spring summer trends that I just cannot resist. And today's haul video is a ginormous one from French Connection. I'm so excited to show you all the pieces that I picked up because honestly, they're in a pile over there and just looking at them is making my heart flutter. There are so many gorgeous pieces there. I did go a little bit crazy on the website. It's as though their whole summer collection was designed with me in mind. I know obviously it wasn't, but with all the travels that I have coming up, I just feel like these clothes are going to be so perfect. There's a huge amount of clothing and accessories that I want to show you. So no rambly intro, let's get started. I'm going to kick off with accessories because that's what I want to do. And the first thing that I picked up was this gorgeous brown leather handbag. Now I was really attracted to the straps in this one. It looks a little bit kind of street markety, if that makes sense, the kind of thing that you might pick up on your travels, but actually it's from the UK High Street. It's this gorgeous tan leather and it's a very kind of um, texturized leather on the top here with a smoother, I think you call this kind of like a girls grain leather but might have made that up um, yeah two different types of leather in the main body of the bag it's really big so for uh, my next trip which is Lanzarote I could probably take this as my hand luggage because I'm sure it will fit my laptop in there I've got a, a MacBook Pro really really love the handles you've got this kind of um, colorful rope and then some gold detail there and then the chain straps inside it's just absolutely ginormous it's just this one big pocket section. I've got a few of the, um, you know, the paper stuff that comes inside. And then there's also a zippy section as well, which is really handy for like any coins, my lipstick, um, passport if you're using it for a travel bag. The only annoying thing that I have noticed is that these don't stay central. So I guess every time I pick the bag up again, I'm gonna have to kind of recalibrate them if that makes sense. But I think this is a really, really gorgeous bag. This was 90 pounds, so not cheap. Um, so I do plan on wearing this a lot this summer to get the most use out of it. I also picked up a hat, and I know what you're thinking, I did not need any more summer hats. I've seen to have a beach hat similar to this in every single haul video I've been doing recently. But what is so great about this one is it really is collapsible. So because of the way that the straw has been almost knitted, it just, you can crush it down and then pop it out of your suitcase and it doesn't have any dents in it like that more kind of um, glue bonded straw if that makes sense. A lot of the hats that you see like my Trilby one from H&M, it's bonded with glue so it's very stiff so once you ruin the shape in your suitcase it's really hard to get the shape back. But this one when it arrived in the box was completely flat and now it has sprung back into its shape. And I just think it's a really lovely, very classic beach hat. So really good for those trips where it's hand luggage only. And most of the time I can't be able to wear my hat when I travel because it just gets in the way. And it's got a beautiful ribbon, very chic. And yeah, really, really like this hat. Then I picked up a couple of swimming costumes. The first one being this navy one and it's got a kind of white and grey and pale blue feather design on it which I thought was very elegant. This was actually inspired by, and she doesn't even own it, I just thought it was very her, um, an Instagrammer or blogger that I'm obsessed with at the moment called Okature, or her name's Leonie. She's a German blogger and I just thought this kind of was very her. I thought that if she saw it she would really like it um, and I thought that it would look absolutely gorgeous. Some days on the beach I just don't want to have my tummy out, especially when you go to places like Greece and the food is so good but so bloating, like there's all the kind of deep fried cheese and that kind of thing. So sometimes you just don't want to have your tummy out on the beach, so I did pick up a couple of swimming costumes. This one, I really love the shape, I love the kind of like boob area, I'm really flat chested so I don't like anything that's too cleavagey. whereas this I think will just add a really kind of feminine shape. And it's nice and high on the legs as well, so shows a bit of thigh and um, I'm not sure what you call that area on the legs that this reveals. I don't know, but I just thought it was a really lovely shape. Love the pattern, very elegant, very classic, and it's got adjustable straps as well, so it's a good, um, a good fit. I did pick up another swimming costume, but I've just realized I dropped it when I was carrying my stuff downstairs, so I'll show you that one right at the end. 
So on to clothing, actually the first thing I'm going to tell you about is this blouse here because otherwise I will forget. This is a kind of three quarter sleeve jumper. I say jumper, it's not going to keep you that warm because as you can see there's lots of see through sections on it. It's got diamond cutouts so almost look a little bit feathery because they've got um, this thread running through the diamonds. I just thought it was really pretty, a very simple top, great for if you want a teeny bit of warmth, uh, maybe it's Maybe there's a cool breeze on your holiday and you just want to have a little bit more material on you but without being too hot. I just think this is, it's white, it's very classic, very easy to wear and I'll probably wear this a lot when I'm travelling. The next thing is a pair of shorts. I find lace shorts just so lovely for summer holidays. These have got a pocket and I absolutely just love having pockets and shorts. Not sure what my obsession is with pockets but I just think it's really nice detail. And then it's got a scalloped lace detail down at the bottom so I think once my legs get a little bit more and these are going to look absolutely gorgeous. Then we have the first top and this is a blue and white folk style top. It's got a lovely kind of, um, I want to call this string but it's not the right way to describe it, kind of stringy tassel detail fastening here and as you'll see from a lot of this haul it's all kind of a little bit 70s Chloe boho style. So this is a, I'd say this is like a flare sleeved top and then you've got this detail at the bottom. I'm not sure the um, official term but it's kind of like a I call it like a ladder detail where a lot of the um, hem is actually see-through so there's holes in it thanks to the way the stitching has been done. I'm trying to show you but I'm not sure if it's very successful and I think it's a really lovely design detail. You've also got that kind of ladder detail down at the bottom here and then at the front section you've got this almost clear lace panel so I'll have to wear some nice underwear when I wear this one and you've got the same lace panel going through the back so I think this will be a really nice light top to wear um, in warmer climates and also here when it's kind of festival season it's very good for that kind of um, that kind of vibe and a completely different vibe but also just as lovely I picked up this really slouchy kind of crop top jumper now not too sure in what kind of situation I'm going to wear this maybe um, Maybe, I don't know, like shopping trips in the UK when it's on a warm day. But it's a really thick material, it's definitely jumper material, but it's t-shirt length sleeves, a really wide scoop top, and then a crop. So I'm definitely going to try this on with some high-waisted trousers. I think this will look really cute and preppy, and you guys know how much I love plain white tops. So this is one of those things that I think I'll get a lot of wear out of this summer. However, it was £50, which is quite pricey for something that I'm not too sure how I'm going to wear it, if that makes sense. So I'll put this one to the test, I won't take the tag off, I'll leave it in my wardrobe and if I haven't worn it after two weeks then it will get returned. That's my, that's my test for if I'm going to keep things. I keep the tags on, if I haven't worn it within the first two weeks then it doesn't make the cut. <laughs> Next, and this one is a little bit, um, I was going to say obsessive, excessive, that's the word. This is the third dress that I've got from French Connection. You might have seen the white one that I wore in Hong Kong, I'll try and insert a clip here if I can find one, and then I wore the blue and white um, shirt style one in South Africa. So this is the third kind of fit and flare dress that I've bought from French Connection this season and I love them. So this one has got a very cute kind of scarlet Peter Pan detail collar um, and then it's got these stripes down the middle of the bodice which makes it a little bit kind of chambermaidy but I do think that's very cute. And then the skirt of it is this almost linen-y but I think it is cotton material with some bobble detail on it which definitely won't be picked up on camera but it does give it a lovely level of detail. You've also got that scalloped edge down here. I just think these dresses are so gorgeous for in the evenings on holiday or in the summer and also if you have any things going on in summer like maybe you're going to some polo or you're going to some horse races this is perfect for all the dress code regulations it covers the shoulders it's knee length um, so I just love having things like this in my wardrobe for summer next another dress and this one has got even more kind of beautiful detailing on it the fabric itself it's not quite lace but it's definitely um, got like a lacy kind of overlay but it's not as frilly and floral as lace it's got almost like a geometric pattern over the top and then you've got this beautiful, I'm going to stand up and show you beautiful frill detail down at the bottom this is almost um, like a silky kind of fabric coming down here the shape of it is fit and flare, so it fits in at the waist and then flares out a little bit. And I find this v-neck and this shoulder style really flattering on my body shape. I have got slightly wider than average shoulders, um, so I find this shape really, really flattering. It's pure white as well, which means there are going to be so many ways that I can wear this with my new Valentino bag and maybe my Valentino sandals, but equally with maybe some flat brown gladiator sandals, I think this will look 
absolutely gorgeous. This was £135 though, so I need to think of a few occasions that I can definitely wear this, because it's not the kind of dress that I want to wear and just wear once, if that makes sense, because it's too much money for that. So. I will look at my diary and plan some summer occasions that this dress will work for. Back to tops, and this is one that I'm actually not too sure on, I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep this, because firstly it was £90, which is very expensive for a top, and also I'm not hugely an embellishment kind of person. Firstly, when I go on holiday, I find it really, really heavy, so it kind of weighs down the suitcase. But having said that, this one isn't too heavy. Um, but it's an off-the-shoulder top with these straps, which mean it doesn't actually fall down. And then you've got the embellished detail along the neck, along the sleeves, and along the bottom. It is a very, very pretty top, but it is expensive. I think with jeans, this will look absolutely gorgeous on a few different holidays, but it's just too expensive for a holiday top in my opinion so we'll see I'll try this on if it looks amazing then I will consider keeping it but for now I'm thinking it might be one for the return pile this next one is one that you definitely need to see on because it's really hard to show you here but it is a beautiful long-legged jumpsuit with a beautiful hole to neck detail at the top it's navy and I don't really wear that much navy so it's gonna be really interesting to add a new kind of color into my wardrobe and yes I did just hit myself in the head with a coat hanger um, but it's I really like the fact that it's a hole to neck I think hole to neck is really nice when you've got a tanned back you want to show off your lovely tanned shoulders really really nice for the summertime and I also love this detail around the waist. I think this is going to make it really flattering, make my legs look nice and long and I think pairing this with a pair of super high wedges is also going to give that lovely 70 Chloe kind of vibe so really looking forward to styling this one up. On to the last few pieces now and they're all bottoms. Firstly or nearly lastly I picked up this pair of shorts. They are a beautiful tie-dye print in a white and navy blue. I don't own anything with this print on it before but I've seen it in um, quite a few like fashion editorials, I've seen it on my Instagram quite a lot and this material is so lovely and light that I just cannot wait to wear these over my bikini bottoms with like a plain white t-shirt on the beach. I think they're going to look so gorgeous. I actually found out the other day I've been invited on a trip and I can't quite believe it um, on board a yacht going around Greece for a few days so I think this will just be absolutely gorgeous for that because Greece if you've been in the middle of summer it is so hot you don't want much material at all on your skin when you're going for lunch so I think this kind of thing um, over my bikini at lunchtime is gonna look beautiful and not let me get too hot either so love these shorts and then also picked up a skirt which is similar kind of um, print this almost diamond blue almost peacock feathery print to the first top that I showed you however this is a size 6 but it looks really Really, really big so I'm gonna to have to tie in this string kind of tassel to make it fit um, but hopefully it'll be quite a nice like high-waisted skirt because if it wasn't high-waisted then it might be a little bit too long for me it's also got this lovely ladder detail down at the bottom um, and the same kind of embroidered detail at the top so it really does match the first top that I showed you but I definitely wouldn't wear them together because that would be a bit of a clash then I have these lace culottes. Again, I say lace, but it's not really floral lace. I wish I knew the definition for this. I'm sure it's probably just called lace. I just always think lace is floral. Um, but either way, these are a pair of high-waisted culottes. I really hope these fit. I'll be inserting clips of me wearing them here so you'll be able to see. Um, but they just, I can imagine these looking so gorgeous with a white top or even a navy top with wedges. I think they'll look so stunning. They've got pockets, so I'm happy with the pocket situation. <laughs> Um, and then they've got beautiful, almost scalloped lace detail down at the bottom. Really pretty, um, really pretty finishing along the bottom there. I think these are going to look so classic, so expensive. In reality, they were they were ninety pounds, so actually they were quite expensive. But I think they are going to look so stylish, so classic, and so elegant on my summer trips. And here's a swimming costume that I dropped on my way down. It's not quite, um, in my opinion, as nice as the first one. I think I prefer the classic uh, pattern of the first swimming costume, but I do love my bright colours when it comes to swimwear. So I picked this one up. It's got the little hole detail here, so it's going to show a little bit of skin. And then the pattern on it is really hard to see what it is. I think it's almost like crystals or rock or something. 
but again I really like the cut at the bottom it's got this high kind of leg gap area here and this one you could wear without any strap so nice to get a nice tanned shoulder area whereas the other one does have to have the straps in order for the boob area to look good so this one I think will be better for tanning um, and again covering the tummy so good for those after lunch situations and that's everything I actually didn't take as long as I thought it would so hopefully this hasn't turned out to be a 45 minute long video I hope you guys have enjoyed looking through my massive French connection haul I know it's incredibly excessive but as I said I just get so excited when I see spring summer trends coming along and everything on their website right now I'm just obsessed with by the way this video is in no way sponsored I paid for all these things out of my own money no press discount or anything like that I just genuinely love all of these products and wanted to share them with you so I really hope you've enjoyed uh, looking through them with me if you have any favorites then let me know down in the comments below let me know which pieces I should definitely keep or any that you think maybe need to go back because they only arrived today so I've got a little bit of time before deciding if I'm going to return anything and if you'd like to see these in action then make sure you're following my vlogs you might already know this if you are subscribed to what I'm doing every day May so I'm attempting to vlog every single day because I'm doing so much exciting stuff this month so many trips I think I'm spending more time abroad than I am in the UK so it's a pretty crazy month so follow along my everyday May vlogs if you'd like to see me wearing these bits and bobs and generally see what I'm getting up to. So make sure you're subscribed if you don't want to miss anything and thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And that's everything from me. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you very soon. Bye!